Right, we're on. Today we're at St Andrews, obviously, home of golf. Clubhouse behind me, right there. And if I swing round, behind me is the Russocks Hotel, which is here, there. That's where Amanda and I got married. Nice. So we're going to go play, Lloyd and I are going to go and play the par 3 course. Well, it's not a par 3 course, there's lots of par 4s on it as well, but it's very, very short. We're going to play that today. Um, and we're also going to talk a little bit about Nick Faldo's golf, how he approached bunker shots. Nick Faldo was a copycat. Won six majors though. So yeah, welcome to St Andrews. Well done. See? Simple. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, my arm. Well out. Hey, do you want the flag, wee man? Pardon? Well, I'll just hold it for you. Can you see it okay? Yeah, I can see the flag. Oh, for this, Dad, for this. I'll just finish mine off. There you go. Amanda, you alright? Hello. Are you? Are you there? Enjoying the golf? Yes, thank you. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. So Andrew's good? Yes, yeah, good. Love it. Good to get some sunshine? Absolutely. Where are you? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what golf's all about, isn't it? Get away from me! Ah! We're at St Andrews, exciting stuff. I got married in St Andrews, Amanda's here, loving it, great, wee man's here, perfect. So I hope you can hear me with the wind, but we're going to talk a little bit about how Faldo used to play bunker shots. 
Faldo used to imagine other people playing the bunker shot, so he would get a feeling when he went into the into the bunker. So if it was a bunker shot that had to be, the pin was quite close to the bunker, he would feel kind of savvy-ish, quite sort of quick and short and stabby, and he'd play the savvy bunker shot. So the pin's close to the edge, and he wants to feel as though he can play that shot, the Spanish hands, very savvy, very quick, short and stabby. He would visualise savvy playing the shot, so he would make himself feel like savvy, so he would look down, Picture Seve playing the shot back, nice and stabby, nice and quick. Ballesteros style. Spanish handles. Then let's say, let's say he's got a longer bumper shot like this white flag out here. He would feel more Ernie Els. So he would picture Ernie Els playing the shot and Ernie was a lot slower and longer and much more follow through and Ernie would play the shot with a little bit more rhythm. Seve was fast and quick. That short, sort of checky one to a close pin, whereas Ernie Els, we're trying to get one up here, we're trying to get it further, so Faldo would visualise himself being Ernie Els or how Ernie would play the shot. Pretty big, pretty easy. Sorry for the camera wobbling and the noise, it's just windy. It's Lynx, it's brilliant. Sun's out though. Manda, watch your back. Manda, you got a clear one. Tell the wife. Okay, so Ernie Els, this longer shot, longer floaty sort of shots, so it's a longer, looser swing to get the ball up to a further trajectory or a further distance, a greater distance. So we'd be here back and through like Ernie Els. A lot of sand in here. Try it again. So Ernie Els feeling so long back, through. A little longer follow through, a lot more rhythm, much more, much more Ernie Els. Get that ball up and out, so he's trying to feel that rhythm. Then he talks about, Faldo talks about the sort of checky one, the real nippy zippy one. He talks about Gary Player. Gary Player used to describe the bunker shot as striking a match. This bunker's not great for it because it's got too much sand in it, but it feels as though sort of hard pan, quick strike at impact, striking the match, which is the club head against the sand or the ball. That's striking the club, striking the club or the match, whatever you want to call it. That's what it felt like. That's how Gary Player described it. That's what Faldo thought of. That's what Faldo tried to recreate. The Gary Player is much more. Trying to strike that match, trying to get that sort of zippy one, so back. Much more hands checks up, spun back. Probably saw that. And that was what a quick hands, very quick hands, very quick club head striking that match to get to spin. That's how Faldo became such a great player. Six majors, three masters, three open championships by copying other people. It's basically it's like in business. You take something that's great, make it your own, make it better. Faldo did that. He looked at other people's styles discovered how they played the shots to get the ball to react to the way they wanted it to react then from there he just copied it pretty simple I guess Hi 
Yes, certainly. Right. Thanks very much. Thank you. Did you enjoy your lunch? Yes. Oh, what? Hi there. Did you get the yellow one? Oh, go for the green one. Hips. Thank you.